Ben, Link, Rebo, Baron the Floor, Borlo, and some of them. So I saw this earlier at work. Like I said, I'm satisfied with the band part of this list. Like honestly, guys, like that kind of needed to happen. Like the Link Rebo. I at first I didn't get what well, why people wanted a band leading up to the band list, but after going to locals a lot recently, like probably test my U Bell deck and the Fire King deck before that, bro. The fact I did not know Link Rebo could tag out of the Grey Bird. That was insane. I guess I just don't read cards. So I saw how fire could abuse it. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this card is good. So Link Rebo getting banned pretty much is going to slow them down a lot. Now, is it going to stop a fire deck from being good? No, not at all. But it's going to slow them down a lot. So I'm not surprised that that happened. And all honestly, as far as Baron the Floor is concerned, Baron, eh, well, I'm a mixed thoughts on Baron. So I, on the role player end, I kind of understand why they are mad that Baron got hit. But on a competitive player side, like myself, for example, y'all, Baron kind of needed to get hit. It's just too good. It's too generic. And like that free negate and pop, like you could throw it into any deck. And the card, the reason why decks like um, Baron, honestly, real talk, y'all, this already get hit is because when you look at a card like Baron versus everything else, it's easily splashable not only into rogue decks, but meta decks, which is really impactful and really huge. And that's essentially why I got hit, because, like, when you have a card like Baron getting hit or being around, rather, you get decks like Fire King that is going to uh, take abuse to the Synchron engine that allowed them to get into Baron, which is a generic rank 10, or not rank 10, Synchro 10. And the Borlo Savage Dragon, which is, I think it's a mod. Is Borlo the monster in the game? I don't know. I can't, I keep forgetting that one. Um, but yeah, man, like the, both of those kind of needed, I can see why they got hit. Did they deserve it? They got caught in the crossfire of the fire deck being the best deck because Konami rather hit those cards now versus letting them be legal and then they don't have to get hit again later because cards like that's always going to be cycled in and out out of the format. Plus, I knew fire wasn't going to get hit and it wasn't going to get hit anyway. Spoiler alert, fire didn't get hit. And that's mainly because Fire is brand new. They have more Fire King support coming out. There is more Snake Eyes support coming out. So the Fire deck ain't dead by any means. It's just not going to be good. It's not going to be as good. I think it got knocked from Tier 0 down to Tier 1, specifically because of this stuff. Now the Fire King variant of the deck, which makes it good because they got Arbata with Monster Negate. And they got these, I forgot the, uh, the other guy that negate spells and traps. So truthfully, Fire King play Fire King Snake Eyes players are still eating. They can do some work. They don't really need the um Omni Negates. Because they have a lot of stuff that's going on. All right, I'm gonna go to the next part now. Let's see. All right, so the, oh, I skipped the limited part. So limited. Arsenal is Protos. I saw what that card did. The card is nutty. Um, let me see if I can share that on my screen here. That card is super goofy. Hold on, let me take this off my screen now. That card essentially is like a floodgate on on wheels. If you guys are watching this live, man, let me know. And then also, I know what I might do, honestly, because I'm not playing any music right now. I might just upload this part of the stream to YouTube and then go from there. I think this part, I'm not really cursing as much. And honestly, I don't know how good the audio is. I'll probably download it, readjust it, and go from there. But so Arch um, Nemesis Protos Pro jumped up to a $99 card. Like it spiked. Like literally, it was like cent six dollars and boom. Right now it's like 39 bucks. So can I be normal summon? Must be special summon from your hand by banishing three monsters with their attribute of your graveyard. Can't be sure by card effect. Declare one card attribute on the field, destroy a monster on the field, same attribute. Also, it's an end of the turn, new player can test some of the monsters with that attribute. Card's nutty. It's, it's insane. It's goofy. And I'm not surprised that that came back. I think Konami just wanted to shake things up the meta game, and you know they just were like, okay, well we'll get back to one. Is it gonna do some stuff? Yes. That car was used. I forgot what deck it was used in, but it was used heavily. I used to hate that car when H got played on me. So yeah, that car is gonna do something. I don't know what deck's gonna go in now, but it's definitely gonna do something for sure. That it's a, one. It's a tech car title like. A, like Joshua Smith said in his um bandless video that I did watch, he was the only one I watched so far. All the dragon rules can come back, they're not gonna do anything, honestly. So I don't think that's gonna matter. Um, Thunder Dragon Colossus is huge. Like, that's the thing I wish it would have stayed gone, real talk, only because like Thunder Dragon, bro, 
ain't nothing more than somebody sacking out Colossus. You have no way to out it, and you have full combo in hand, but they have a Colossus. You just got scoop. It's really annoying considering they banned Floodgates, but brought back a Floodgate monster. So they took away Dex's ability to Omni Negate, but we gave us a deck a little bit of Floodgate. It got to the hero player. I shouldn't be complaining because I'm kind of used to stuff like that. I think Konami just wanted to bring it back to shake things up in the format, see how it is. Me personally, I think Thunder Dragon um, Colossus is going to be splashing a lot of different decks. I even saw um, Shout out to Trinity Yu Gi Oh! I've been watching a lot of his videos. He did a um, U Bell video where U Bell can play Thunder Dragon Colossus. It's kind of clunky, but when you have full combo, you can definitely go with Thunder Dragon Colossus. So, yeah, I think that's gonna be that's gonna be nutty, bro. I think maybe I could maybe somebody might run it in some goofy stuff. I expect the Unicorn Carrier. It's like whatever. It's kind of a dated card. Like it's good. I don't think it's gonna be game changing. Chicken games definitely gonna get used for sure. Chicken games are awesome card. Um, just the draw that is really good. Anti spell to one, eh, like. Everyone always wanted anti spell to, to go. I don't really know how I feel about anti spell going because I, I feel like on the one end it can steal you and win you games. On the other end, I think anti spell is weaker than summon limit. Personally, like now, granted, if you plan a deck where you can set up a few a few interruptions with a negate with the anti spell and your opponent opens up all spells, okay, I can see why they got a hit. But on the flip side, though, a lot of the times, and you guys notice who play who've been playing competitively for a while. You can flip anti spell and still lose. You have Cosmic Cyclone, you have Twin Twister, you have Monster Meta Deck ways to pop it. So I don't think it's the end all be all like it used to be, but I can kind of see why I got hit. Konami may be trying to promote the U Bell deck, and anti spell is a card that can kind of slow the U Bell deck down if they flip it on a U Bell player. And maybe there's some other decks that's coming out that um that don't easily play around anti spell, which is why I got hit. However, I don't think it should have gotten hit. I think it's one of those things like, okay, it got hit. It is what it is. Like, I wasn't playing it in my side deck anyway, but at the same time, it's like, okay, I'm not mad. Then the semi limits was like, Armageddon Knight. It's like, okay, whatever. Why do they limit semi limits? Wasn't that at three? And then Pure Lily, this is when the Pure Lily players is busting a fat one right now. But and then Unlimited, of course. That's in here. Listen, now this is a big one. I know everybody want going to want my opinion on this. Malady 3 doesn't do much for heroes. Now, this is my opinion on that, right? And I might eat these words, but this is hear me out. I thought about this a lot when I was playing heroes throughout various formats. If Mali was at 3 after the release of Denier, does it matter? Not really. But what does it do for you that you can't? Heroes don't already do. You set up Dark Law. You still set up Plasma. You set up DP. Your win kind of still the same. You set up the board, same old boring board of Dark Law, Plasma, DPE. Set the fusion um, trap, blow up your opponent's board, go for game. Now, Mally allows you to spend a little more and maybe get an extra body if you get Nibiru. So you can flip a mass change during the semi phase. And everyone knows like Dark Law is good, but it's not as good as it used to be. So I think Mally going to three is only going to be good for decks that are not heroes. And But for the standard hero build, and I'm putting emphasis on standard hero build. It's not doing much for a standard hero build. I guarantee you. I think maybe there might be some quirky builds like the XYZ build. Maybe people might think out of the box and do a non standard hero build that's not running Bion, that's not running um, the Vision Hero Engine, it's going strictly Destiny Heroes and E Heroes. However, I don't see it doing anything. Like I said, I could be wrong. I just don't think it does anything for the hero. It's just going to be a card that's like, okay, because on the one end, yeah, we could pop off more. On the other hand, though, if you're playing a 40 card deck like I do, you're gonna brick because you're gonna open up double Mally a lot more often, and you're like, fudge. I wish I had a third Mally. Like, denier being a thing made Mally a playable card, really good for heroes, okay in other decks, but you're really gonna abuse the heroes now. Mally being at three, it's gonna be abusing some synchro XYZ and some link decks because it's just a banish once for some one, but it's a free body. So, decks that are not heroes will be playing Mally at three. That's probably why Armageddon Knight went to two Mally. I think about it because. They don't want to see Armageddon, numbers of Armageddon Knight, Dump Mally, Banish Mally, Link Summon, Banish Mally, Link Summon. So Mally officially, effectively, what Armageddon Knight is a Link Climb. So I think that's something really powerful to think about as well. Then Engage the three, Sky Strikers Place is busting a load. 
Orcus Harpoor, man, we all predicted that we were a terror top. I think that's pretty much the balance, man. Um, once again, like, like I said, y'all, I don't think the balance. Um, I what am I saying? I think the balance is good. I don't think it's ground shattering. I think fire is still gonna be the best deck. I think branded should have gotten touched because like nothing by Brandy got hit, so they're still gonna be a puppet lock you and just be and be done. Which I think the puppet. I don't see how puppet dies to balance. Like why do Konami want the puppet unlocked? Why I have no idea. Somebody at Konami in America, TCG has a hard on for Brandy. Like they really just slap a slap fire on the wrist, but it's still gonna be good. All that made people do is just gonna be like, okay, instead of playing, instead of pl playing pure Snake Eyes, all right, we're gonna go back to Snake Eyes, Fire Kings, and run a heavy Monster Negate deck with a bunch of interruptions, and we're gonna lose the Board Breakers, and go from there. So, I think at the at the overall at the overall man, I'm excited to see what the format does as a UBL player. I'm happy. Like this would have been a perfect ban list if Colossus didn't come back as a UBL player because like. You build kind of make it, it can avoid roll and things because it sets stuff in the deck. But like, I feel bad for my hero players out there. Just you know, people gonna sack out Colossus and then you just have a whole hero hand. You'll be like, ugh, ugh, brother, ugh, what's that, brother? But yeah, man. Anyway, man, this is the ban list right here, man. Um, yeah, I probably gonna upload this to YouTube. So post your opinion about the video. Comment down below. Like the video if you're new here. Subscribe for more. Subscribe for more. It's your boy Rogue, and I'm signing out. Peace.